Hello and welcome back to Justice for John Lacey. The F1 1995 season is eight rounds in and Damon Hill leads by four points after his win at the British Grand Prix from us, John Lacey. Michael Schumacher finished fifth in that race and that was costly for him. It saw him jump from first to third but he's not out of the title race yet. Still a three-way fight. In the constructors, Williams seemed to be running away with it, but I think there's still time to change it. Ferrari were off in no man's land in third, and now we're only right behind Benetton. So there's still a long way to go. On to the next round. Round nine of the World Championship, now here at Hockenheim, Germany. I mean, you cannot make this up. We have yet to have two consecutive dry races in this championship once again the rain is falling i was convinced that this run of wet races was finally going to end and we were just going to see a run of sunshine redress the balance a bit incredibly here we are again so yes here we are hockenheim in germany and this is the old hockenheim the one that trailed off into the woods this got used until 2001 and then it was replaced in 2002 by the Hockenheim ring we know today, uh, which was designed by some bloke called Herman Tilke. He does that for a living, apparently. Well, this is going to be an interesting track for setup because there are, of course, a lot of straights. So straight line speed is important, but then you've also got quite a few twisty sections. You've got chicanes that break it up. You've got the final sector, which is obviously quite twisty and you want to carry speed through. So it's going to be interesting to get the balance right. And I'm going to try and do that now in practice, uh, and then we're going to come back and try and qualify it. And I'm coming back with a couple of secret weapons. I nearly, I nearly crashed again while looking at the camera like I did in Silverstone. What an absolute tool belt. Okay, time to qualify. 12 laps to try and get this right. In real life, Jean Lacy qualified 10th, so that will be our objective, which I know seems like low-hanging fruit when we're fighting for the championship, but qualifying has not been a strong point for us this season. In real life, uh, our rivals Hill and Schumacher qualified first and second in that order. However, in the wet, as we've seen before, the grids go crazy. So Hill will most likely be on pole, so our main championship rival's up there, but as for the rest, we could see anyone anywhere, and I mean that. As I mentioned at the end of practice, I had a couple of secret weapons. Um, the first one, as I discovered at Silverstone, is I'm going to try chase cam. Because actually, for positioning the car, I think this could be really useful. I'm not sure about using it for the race. I might stick to kind of the nose T cam I've been using uh, throughout the rest of the season. But for getting the car positioning right, I'm thinking for qualifying, this is the way. I'm going to go chase cam. Mm. Right at all, that's alright. Don't usually take like taking that much curb in the wet, but if you can glance it, you can get away with it. Now the other secret weapon that I mentioned, hang on, I'm just let me get through this chicane. I will it's, Again, one of those places where there isn't really a clear breaking point for it, and I'm still not quite there. Just like I struggled with uh Vale and Club at Silverstone. Uh, no! Ah. Now my other secret weapon, as I keep trying to tell you, is um, Racing Di Milano commented on one of my earlier episodes of this series with a tip saying that if you try and downshift manually coming to the corners, you can actually brake later because downshifting, as it does in real life, helps slow the car down. Now, I have got automatic gears on because, for the simple reason, I don't like them on the pad. I'm going to struggle enough as it is, as you can see. Oh dear! So, let's stick with auto. But I can still, if I want to, overrule the gear changes. So I can try and downshift into the chicanes. Which, oh, which I just did then. I can. It's worked. It does work. It's one thing to kind of get used to playing a game in automatic or manual but to play it in automatic but then randomly downshift I just find quite strange my brain doesn't like it I mean as you've seen on my other videos my brain doesn't like the majority of things I try to do like driving for example so thank you for the tip Racing Di Milano I am gonna try it we're gonna see what happens and uh, Racing Di Milano has his own channel I'm gonna put a link in the description um, thank you for watching and 
trying to help, even if I can't help myself. Game head on now, let's, let's do this. Oh no! I got so used to being able to go on the curbs at Silverstone and really throw it through some corners. 21st on the grid now. Oh, for... I don't think my secret weapons are helping me much yet, to be honest. Into our jib. Ugh, too wide. Right. That secret weapon, I think, is going to remain a secret, actually. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I don't think it's helping. Oh, no! This is the worst qualifying... I've usually got at least a half-decent banker lap in by now. See, that's how you take turn one. You can do that flat every time, not a problem. See, two tenths, that's much better. Decent final corner. Right, that's the best lap so far. Where does that get us to? Fifth. It's 8.1 seconds off pole. But it's fifth place. Oh, I can relax a bit now. Flip a neck, okay. Oh, I second guess myself. I break, think I'm breaking too early. So stop breaking and then realise, actually I should be breaking now. <laughs> I've just completely mucked that up. That was pretty good through centre though. That was nice. Oh, I didn't really take that final corner very well at all. Is it still going to be an improvement? We cross the line. It is an improvement, but we stay fifth. Oh, it's a Williams. Are you going to try and ruin my flying lap? A cheeky team orders from Frank. Incredibly up again in the first split. Oh, wow, I've left the door wide open. Indecisiveness again in the braking zone at Erst. Holding the right-hander. Oh, that was an awful final corner. I've lost loads of time there. Let's see if it is still an improvement. Oh, it is. Oh, I didn't think it was. And we're up to fourth now. That could have been even better. And there we are. The starting grid for the German Grand Prix. So I'm expecting to see Damon Hill on pole. There he is. In second, Gerhard Berger for Ferrari. Yes, please. Uh, Ukio Katayama for Tyrrell. Jean Alesi in the other Ferrari. I like the look of that. Schumacher's in sixth. Kultan in seventh. So it's displaced because we've got a Pacific in eighth as well. But our rivals are up there. So what happened in real life? Well... Michael Schumacher won the German Grand Prix and it was a famous victory because it was the first time a German had ever won a World Championship German Grand Prix. So it was incredibly popular, as you might imagine. Uh, David Coulthard finished... Oh, hello. What do you hear? I'm talking to the internet. What is it? No, no, no. It's just... I've just been told, I believe. Um, Coulthard was second and Berger was third. Hill and Alacy retired. Hill, I think, spun out due to an issue with his car in lap one. Alacy had engine trouble. Um, my objective for this race, it's wet. I should be aiming for the top. And it's that time of the season, especially with Hill on pole, where I need to be getting ahead of our rivals. So, settle for nothing less than the best. Here we go, look at that. Look at that view ahead. It's just Gerhard Berger and Clear Road. And we're away. And once again, it's not the best start. Gerhard Berger's got a decent run. I think Hill's going to probably shut the door. I'm just going to tuck into third. We're ahead of Katayama. Coulthard already is up to fourth. Oh, Gerhard. Oh, dear. I've got on the grass then. That wouldn't have been good. Okay. Up to Clark. Let's see if we can get up the inside of Gerhard Berger at the very least and get straight onto Damon Hill. Oh dear, I'm second guessing when they're going to break. I don't want to just drive into the back of them. 
It's not too bad. We're going to pull out the slipstream and we are ahead of Damon Hill. Perfect start. And we are going to lead into the Erst chicane, which I am not super keen about, but here we go. I'm going to break early. Nice and... Oh, I've gone wide too. Too late. Too late, too late, too late. Oh. Okay. I wasn't tidy, but I've kept it on the road. That's That's the most important thing. Just take it calm through center. I just, I've got visions of me getting overconfident and spinning and it's Imola all over again. It was a mess. So, calm. Boringly sensible moves. Oh, oh wow, I misjudged that. Oh, no. How on earth have I gone round? Incredibly, that blocks the road and... Oh my word, I think I've just massively changed the order. Oh no, Courtauld's at the inside. What has gone on? Oh my word. Tyrrells and... Ugh. Okay, stop looking behind you. I think I've just caused some mischief to Gerhard Berger. And incredibly, <laughs> two Williams in our first and third. So Hill is still behind us, but... Oh my word. What happened there? I completely misjudged Ed Jip. Ended up on the grass, and then just as I was coming off the grass, spun up the wheels, blocked the road, but then Coulthard thought, you know what, I'm coming through. And I was round. But fortunately, we've managed to get back past David Coulthard, but we have properly messed up the order. We had Berger running in third. <laughs> I don't know where he is now. Gerhard, I'm actually very sorry, because that could have been good for us in the constructors. But Williams are now second and third. To think I was worried about taking Senna and going off. Ajip wasn't a corner I was thinking I was going to, you know, throw it off on. It's kind of embarrassing that. I've got, I can literally see Ajip written on the front wings of the Ferrari. <laughs> and what do I do at the corner of the same name? It's very popular recently to say a certain phrase about spinning in a Ferrari. But I'm not going to say it. Because that joke got old very quickly. And that particular driver has left those times behind him now. So it's fine. It's fine. Look at that for a gap. 6.6 .6 seconds already to David Coulthard. When it goes right in the wet, it goes properly right. And there we are. Coulthard and Hill over the line together. Berger is at least still in fourth, so it's not too bad. Barrichello for the Jordan. And Bouillon in the Sauber. Uh, finish off the top six. Still no Michael Schumacher. No Benettons whatsoever. This could really change the championship. As it stands, if David Coulthard stays ahead of Damon Hill, we will take the lead of the championship by two points. First time we'll have led since round two. Into lap four, through Clark we go. Gap up to 17 seconds over Hill. This is, this is like Monaco and Argentina, where we got clear. There's the new top five. Oh, well, look at that. Jean-Christophe Bouillon is, is no longer in. Johnny Herbert's jumped up to fifth. Hill is past Coulthard. So that puts us level on points in the championship. Don't think team orders are a thing on this game, but uh, I would say that's uh, some game playing there by Williams. Oh, damn. Touch the grass again. Oh, my word. Okay, if I get my head down, I can definitely set a fastest lap that is under two minutes. And that is what I'm thinking when I try and do this lap. Let's let's try and fire one round. Lap five of the German Grand Prix. I'm all right with Berg. If Berg can hang on for fourth, that's not bad for us. Really good for our Constructors Championship. When only Johnny Herbert is in the top six for Benetton. And behind both Ferraris. I think we're going to go sub two minutes now for a fastest lap. There we go. There it is, confirmation of 157. Well, it was at this point of the season that Michael Schumacher in real life took the championship by the throat and really started to take control of things, winning his home Grand Prix and Hill not finishing. Um, 
but we're changing that. Schumacher is struggling. He's still, as it stands, on the final lap, not in the points, which means he could be falling away from the championship fight, and it's actually a Lacey versus Hill. We have removed the first German home victory in Formula One, but we've replaced it with one that I think is maybe not going to be as popular with the German fans, but one that I think people wouldn't particularly mind. Just as we come to back markers, we come round the final corner as Jean Alesi wins the German Grand Prix. That's how you do that. So there we go, final results. We are over 30 seconds clear of Hill and Coulthard. Johnny Herbert agonisingly gets ahead of Gerhard Berger on the final lap. Uh, Rubens Barrichello, great result for him in the Jordan. Schumacher finishes ninth. It is tied at the top between Hill and Lacey. Off the top of my head, I don't actually know what the count back is. I'm assuming Hill has either won more races or has had better result, uh, results, because obviously he's listed ahead of us, but on the same points. Schumacher in third, falling back, is now 14 points behind. Coulthard is still fourth, comfortably. Herbert in fifth. Berger finally into double figures in sixth. In the Constructors' Championship, Williams still with a comfortable lead. I think that's 18 points by the looks of it. Uh, but Ferrari overtake Benetton to go second. So not too bad at all. The only three teams comfortably in double points as Jordan uh, get another point to hold on to fourth ahead of McLaren. History's changing, guys. It's, it's a really good fight. So we are once again level on points with Damon Hill, but instead of being level in second, we're now level in first, and Schumacher's got work to do if he wants to stay in the championship fight. Um, I'm not even sure what the next race is. I think it might be Hungary off the top of my head, but whatever race it is, I do hope you'll join me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the series. If you're enjoying it, please do comment, like, uh, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Uh, and hopefully I will see you for another video very soon.